Arsenal 3, Manchester United 1. That result, that performance, the way we capitulated in the second half was one of the most dejecting, deflating, depressing way to end the game. On what I felt like could have been an opportunity for Manchester United to really kickstart their season and to th turn things around for the better. Had maybe Garnacho's goal stood, maybe it could have been a difference. It could have made a difference. But overall, the way we capitulated speaks volumes as to where Manchester United are right now as a football club. I have nothing against Johnny Evans, and at the end of the day, Harry Maguire staying was always going to be inevitable. My problem has always been with the poor decision-making from the likes of Ed Woodward and the Glazers that made us continue to be in this position. Eric Tenog needed proper reinforcements. Kim Min Jae was somebody that we've been chasing for seven months, and he ended up ending up at Bayern Munich. We needed Kim Min Jae badly, but instead today, in a game which mattered a lot, against a top Premier League side, we brought on Johnny Evans and Harry Maguire. This is not Premier League quality at the top flight. We are far from it. Amrabat coming this late? FFP, whatever it is, we should have brought him earlier, but we couldn't. It's the amalgamations of the shit show that we've been seeing from years on before that Eric Tanaga is continuously having to pay for. The only saving grace for me today was this man right here, Rasmus Hoyland. He did us proud. His performance, his debut, no goal, us losing, I don't give a damn. He gave us a great performance and a great debut. This was my only thing that made me smile. Rasmus, I'm so proud of you.